Hi guys, today I thought I would um, vlog. I haven't done it in ages. Basically vlog is video blogging. It's apparently what lots of people do. Oh, that's better. Um, I'm just at home. I've got a whole lot of painting I gotta do today. So I thought I would kind of bring you along for the ride and you can kind of get a day in the life, I guess, of what I do during the week painting um, for Angels in Colour. So I will show you bits and pieces as I paint and I have no idea what else I'm doing today so it's going to be a surprise for the both of us. Okay so this is basically my view for the day so I have all of my stuff. Don't be alarmed there is quite a lot of paint. I work with the big tarpaulin so I have quite a big apartment and it has awful old disgusting poodle carpet which needs to be replaced um, but I work on a giant tarpaulin so nothing gets on the carpet anyway. Um, this is part of a painting that I'm working on at the moment. I'm just going to show you a little bit more of a close up. So you'll see that I've used iridescent paints quite a bit um, for sort of the base of this painting. It's still a work in progress and we're hoping to finish it off today so hopefully you'll get to sort of you know see the finished product by the end of the day but this one is for beautiful baby Amber and her family um, they specifically asked for symbols that represented her which was her little chubby pink bunny and and butterflies um, so this is what I'm working on today I just wanted to point how, out how awesome these colors are so oh, some of you might know if you follow angels in color um, the other day over the weekend um, purely with a lot of encouragement from some of the supporters of my page, I started up a Give Little account. So I'll just turn on myself. I started up a Give Little account. Of course, this, is, this camera is really very good, but very close. Um, so I started a Give Little account. And what it is basically is a page that people can pledge to. So it's the same idea as like Kickstarter, but it's in the forms of donations for charities or it can be for any kind of organization or any way to fundraise really um, and so I, I didn't want to do that because I really don't like to ask for anything and this was something that I decided to do I decided to start doing the free paintings um, it was completely my choice and my intention was never to ask for any money um, and so I was a bit apprehensive about it, but I checked out what Good Little, you know, was about and, and that kind of thing and how they're really supportive of, you know, helping um, charities or organizations or, you know, families needing a helping hand, um, etc. So I just thought, oh, well, I'll make a page. I'll see how it goes. If it doesn't work, I just won't, you know, won't put it out there. Um, so I simply did it just for material costs. Only because um, I'm going through a, so much paint at the moment, doing these paintings, and I love it. It's a really nice way for me to, you know, cre be creative every day. I love painting, so you know, to be continually keeping that up is really good for me. Um, but yeah, I'm, I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go out and get a whole load more of paint. Um, so I just kind of said, I put a target of $100, I thought, you know, that's going to be more than enough, and um, blow me down, I somehow have these amazing people who have decided to support this, and I have $260 pledged already, so, um, yeah, that, like, I, do, yeah, speechless, really, like, it's, it's so cool, so thank you so much if you did pledge, and it's going to help so many people and it's just nice that you know I'm getting help to help others so that's really cool um, so anyway basically that's um, where all of these new paints came from so yesterday I went to um, my local supplier and they mixed up a whole lot of paints for me and um, I have now 19 new colors on top of like the drips and dribs and drabs of what I have left um, 19 new colors and they're amazing they have a really really amazing base colors to them so they're going to last and stay bright and colorful um, for years and years and years so i was really happy with that and um yeah so these ones that i was showing you have got completely sidetracked be warned i do that all the time i am probably add and dyslexic because i say left is right and right is left and and you know so back to these paints 
I'm using one at the moment, this glorious pink colour, which as it happens is named after one of my favourite things. Pink gin! <laughs> How great is that? I just love that. We've also got another one I'm going to use is lilac fluff. And then more peachy tone is Mexican standoff. I love these names. And the last but not least, scampi. So this, um, for what I'm doing or starting to do now, these four colours are in the colour range that, um, that the lovely family of Amber requested. So I'm excited to get those going. I've also got a whole new um, sort of range of turquoise and blues, greens, limes, we've got orange there. A um, couple of old ones in here, uh, ooh, 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 ooh. These, th these two plus this one are um, older ones I already had so that's why I've gone back with the Dulux because I love them. And then there's a few more sort of lighter tones in here, um, this one's called Breadcrumb, how cute is that thing? Um, oh and there's another painting I'm doing. So yeah, I just um, wanted to share those cool colours and names with you so I'm going to get going um, with my painting. Hey guys, I've got a quick little update. Nude bottle! Just kidding. Um, I just want to show you the painting real quick. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I've just gone in with a little bit of the Mexican standoff, the scampi, and the pink gin, and the lilac fluff to just kind of build it up a little bit, give it more of a 3D quality. So it's coming along pretty well. Um, house looks like a total mess. Um, yeah, it's coming along well and I'm just going to sort of keep at it, listen to some music, have a bit of lunch and then um, I'll show you the finished product. Got some new colours. So I've got Kings Canyon and Rainforest Glow. So Kings Canyon is the orange one and Rainforest the yellow one. And I'm just going to work them in um, a little bit more into the wings and then basically all I've got to do left is to... I don't think I'm going to outline completely but I'm going to yeah, give, do some kind of outline just to kind of finish it off, make um, you know the wings and that kind of thing really stand out from the background and then I'll sign it and I'll be done and it'll be on its way. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, so I'll see you... <sighs> Yeah, I guess I'll see you guys relatively soon. So 